What did he say? Coach Freeze in his press conference just mentioned the journey that he's had with you and the relationship and you know seeing you grow and stuff. What's been the relationship from your standpoint with Coach Freeze and how has he really helped you to who you are today? Yeah, you know, obviously been been here for about a year and a half now and uh, you know, came down here, Coach Freeze's first year last year and then and obviously here in year two and um, you know, been working together. Obviously, he's an offensive coach, and, and obviously, I play quarterback. So, uh, there's always going to be a relationship there, and um, you know, just doing our best to, to, to you know, help our team uh, win games and and uh, be the best offense we can be. Hey, it's been a long time since Auburn's gone into Tuscaloosa and won this game. Um, from a psychological standpoint, and as a leader of this team, how do you get you guys ready to go in this game and truly believe that you can go in there and win? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of guys, including myself, who, you know, haven't played there on our team as well. You know, we got a lot of young guys and, and um, you know, transfer guys too. And so um, you try not to, to worry too much about, you know, the psychological aspect, like you just said, um, and uh, realize it's a road game. Obviously, it's going to be a, a good environment. Um, I'm sure it's not an easy place to play. Uh, we've played in other places that aren't easy places to play either, so you kind of got to draw back on, on that a little bit. And obviously, it's a huge rivalry game, the biggest rivalry game in college football. So, um, you know, just got to put a good week together, uh, preparation. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll deal with the noise uh, during practice the best we can and, and then go out there and do our best to execute. And, um, you know, when, when the game gets started, you know, it's just um, you fall back on your training. So, um, you know, do what we can there. Now, you know, in your second year here, having played an honorable once, what have you kind of learned about this rivalry since being here? Yeah, obviously it's a it's a huge rivalry game. Like I said, you know, the fans uh, really don't like each other one bit. Um, you know, I learned in this state that, uh, you know, growing up, that's who you, how you choose your friends. You know, you ask, are you Alabama, are you Auburn? And so, um, you know, it means a lot to these people. It means a lot to us players as well and, and everyone involved in the rivalry. So, um, yeah, like I said, you know, it's a huge game. Obviously, it's uh, played on rivalry weekend for a reason. And, um, you know, it means a lot to, to the people here and to myself and my teammates as well. We got some young guys on this team, especially on this offense. What's your message to them about how important this game can be, and especially the last game is pivotal. This is a big one for, for this team, the program. Yeah, you know, outside of the rivalry game itself, you know, we're playing for, for another game right now. You know, we've, we've done our our job the last two weeks of keeping our season alive. And then obviously, you know, we've given ourselves a chance here to go ahead and make a bowl game. So um, that in and of itself should be a reason to, uh, you know, give everything you got and uh, to be really locked in this week. So, um, and then on top of that, you, you toss in that the Iron Bowl. So um, no excuse this week, no school this week. Uh, you got Thanksgiving, you know, um, so, uh, you know, we'll be camped out here doing everything we can to get ready for, uh, for this game. and. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to, to this week of preparation. Thinking of how the uh, last one did, how ended, how much has that been on the mind? What's been the message going to get, the, get in this one in Tuscaloosa and get them back? Yeah, obviously, you know, you're never going to forget the, the way the game ended last year. And, um, you know, obviously uh, the whole off season, you're, you're frustrated thinking about that, thinking about the way the season ended for us last year. And, um, you know, you remember it, but you do your best not to dwell on it. You know, you don't want it to impact, you know, what we're doing this week. Um, Keep in the back of your mind, you know, remember it for the right reasons, but don't uh, don't let it consume you or anything like that. So uh, be focused on this year. We got a different team, so do they, um, and uh, focused on the task at hand and uh, doing everything we can to, to win the game on Saturday. Can you touch down for Dre in overtime? I think it's the fourth overtime. Uh, how, that, how did that play unfold? Did it kind of go the way you thought it would? Uh, a little bit. That's the first time we've run that play, uh, the, the combination of the two. We, we kind of combined two different plays there within the boundary and then to the three receiver side. Um, Jarquez came back, quick motioned him. Uh, I thought I was going to throw the ball to Cam, and he broke the opposite way that I thought he was going to break. And so I got off him quickly and came back. And Dre is usually our guy we throw it to on that play uh, down in the low red like that. And, um, you know, pre snap, I was thinking he was going to be, you know, the guy to the field if I wasn't going to throw it to the boundary. I thought for sure they were going to run with Jarquez. I didn't think they were going to give us that, and they did. And then Cam had, I, I thought Cam had leverage, thought he was going to break out. He broke in, so I came right back to the field right away. You know, got a little bit of pressure, threw it to Dre, tried to put in a spot that he can make a play on it. And he made a great catch, and, um, you know, like he has throughout the entire season. So, um, yeah, I'd say that's, that's about how that one went. His part of that, that play, I mean, his.